Hey everyone, it is Brittany and Clara from The Pretty Plus. Um, she's looking at the fan because it's on right now. Um, we just got back from Aldi. We also are both getting sick. So we have like runny noses, starting to cough. We're not feeling the best, but we did our grocery shopping so that we can lounge around for the rest of the night, Saturday instead of Sunday and um, thought we would share with you what we purchased. I'm holding her, so I'm not gonna point to what I'm talking about, um, but I figured I'd share with you the meal plan first. So Monday night, barbecue chicken sandwiches. We have chicken in the refrigerator, barbecue. We have some onions that I can throw in there. Um, got salad and fruit stuff. We have a sandwich. What is that? Buns? Good God. And, um, yeah, so that's Monday. Tuesday, we're going to do chicken enchiladas. I was going to do non-pizzas, but Aldi didn't have any non-bread at all. They didn't have the mini ones. They didn't have the regular ones. So, um, I just grabbed some tortillas, and I have the stuff to do, like, salsa chicken and make chicken quesadillas. On Wednesday, we are doing the... Um, Emily Bites Bubble Up Enchilada Bake. I have the other half of the enchilada sauce. I figured I'd use that up. Um, Thursday, I'm going to a sushi preview night at Ocean Prime um, with some bloggers. And Brett's going to have leftovers because there will be leftovers from these things. And then um, Friday, I plan on making the Spanish rice skillet by Emily Bites. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with her recipes. They're super easy, basically comfort food that's lightened up, so it's right up my alley. And then Saturday, we are going to Lake Michigan with my friend's family um, just for the day, but we're bringing sandwiches for lunch and meat for the grill, and I didn't get any of that stuff right now. Um, if we get worse and we're still sick, we probably won't go, but I'm guessing by the end of the week we'll be fine, and we'll just get stuff closer to that time. But I am making cookies per my friend Nicole's request, so I got stuff for that today. And then on Sunday, I am doing a vlog moms lake night um with some girlfriends and i just wrote on here chicken strips for brett um he can do that pretty quickly himself so give me just a moment and i'll share with you what i got sorry for the weird shadow it is not bright enough in here right now for me to do it without the overhead light on and she is being kind of needy, so I don't want to get out my lighting just for this quick video. Anyway, we spent $33.07. Actually, about four of it was not on grocery stuff. So um, I'll be putting down that we spent $30 on groceries. And because it rounds up to $34, and I'll just take four out. So um, $30 on groceries today, and this is what we got. Um, we have blueberries. Claire loves blueberries. I found that out when she had them when we were in Chicago. So I got them. I can give her some like as a snack or I will puree up some for the top of her Greek yogurt for breakfast. Um, the Emily Bites casserole requires black beans and tomato sauce. So I got two cans of each of those. I usually try to grab two cans if I need a can of something. That way I have a little some here so I don't have to get it every single time. This has blueberry juice on it, um, but it is just one of those circle novelty towels, and I thought it would be really fun for the beach next weekend. Simple, but Clara needs somewhere to sit that's not inside the sand. Um, we got some of the Scarlet Pearls tomatoes, an English cucumber, the Italian salad mix. Orange juice was on sale for $1.65, and that's Brett's favorite. Plus, I'm sick, so I'll probably want a little extra vitamin C. Um, out of minced garlic, picked that up, grabbed some tortillas, that is for quesadillas. For the cookies, I needed sugar. We were to we've been totally out of sugar here at our house for a while, and I just haven't been getting any more because I just have, I don't use sugar that often. So, um, grabbed some sugar, Grab some butter for the cookies. Grab some flour, even though I'm looking over now over there and we don't need flour. Um, but I'll just put it in the pantry. 
it does use like six cups of flour for my famous recipe. I'll link that below. My friends request it. So, um, and then I got some chocolate chips, pork sausage. That was for the non uh, pizzas. I was going to do sausage pizzas this time. However, I'll just use it in a scramble this week, or I'll put it in the freezer for non pizzas next week if they have non. And then three dozen eggs, they were 71 cents a piece. That is everything. I have a quick little add on to our grocery haul because I did my grocery shopping on Saturday and I forgot to get the things to make guacamole and I forgot cottage cheese, which I wanted to add as like a snack this week, and Clara likes it as well. Um, so I walked, I have, um, like a Ruler Foods, which is a Kroger, basically an Aldi, only Kroger brand, off-brand stuff, and trashy, to be honest, um, in my backyard, basically. I can walk out my back door, through my yard, um, and then I'm in a parking lot that's like a strip mall, random places there, and then across the street from there is, like, a big strip mall, and over there, there's a ruler food. So, um, Claire and I just went on a little walk over there to get a few things. Um, I grabbed cottage cheese. This, I think, is $1.29. Um, I decided I would grab some rice for a side for, we're doing, um, I don't, I don't want to, it's not fajitas. We're doing, like, uh, I'm having steak tacos, Brett's having uh shrimp tacos tonight and so I thought I'd grab this weird side I've never heard of it before the picture looks really good so hopeful um it was 69 cents um I was gonna make some fresh guacamole like with all the ingredients but um they didn't have any um cilantro besides the tiny pack and I would have had to buy two of them and it would have been two dollars when I can usually just buy it for 69 cents so I ended up just getting two avocados, which were 99 cents a piece, and these are pretty tiny, and then a package of the guacamole seasoning mix, and hopefully it's good. I can doctor it up a little bit if I need to. I got one peach. I like peaches, but I feel that they go bad super quickly in the summer because they're so ripe. So I grabbed one, and I can share it with Clara. I grabbed two um, Snapples. I've just been wanting like juices, like iced, like a crap ton of ice with some juice or some tea. So I grabbed the Diet Snapple Peach Tea and the Snapple Fruit Punch, which I've never had. They had Apple Apple and I was going to get that, but I decided to try this instead. They were $1.25 a piece. So I purchased them with my own money because I don't want my husband to try to drink them. I'm stingy like that. Another uh, example of me being stingy is that... A few weeks ago, I purchased some M&M's ice cream sandwich, which I told you guys are one of our favorite um, staple things to have, especially in the summer for desserts. And there are six in there, so we can each have three um, throughout the week or two or whatever. Well, Brett's been out of town with his mom and whatever in Cleveland, and I ate four of the six pack because I've had one every day. And... Um, yeah, so I purchased these with my own money, and um, that way I can just, I don't want him to be like, you ate mine, and he will do that. So, uh, yeah. I told him I was going to eat his, and he's like, don't do that, and I did. So I purchased some more, and I did it with my own cash because I'm... I just shouldn't have done it, but I did. So anyway, that's the tiny haul. I spent about $10 altogether for all this stuff. But again, only six of it was um, stuff for our actual grocery haul. This other stuff is stuff I used personal money for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video this week. This is a more normal video. The ones I've been posting have had like a lot of junk in them. We don't typically eat a ton of junk, but... Baby, having a baby, man, it's hard. I just haven't wanted to cook as much, and I love cooking. So hopefully our house is clean right now, which makes it much easier to do the cooking and meal prepping that I need to do. And hopefully we're back on track with things that we actually eat. And, I mean, we do buy junk sometimes. It's not like we eat super healthy all the time. But um, I was buying a lot of it. So that's a more normal haul for us if you enjoy hauls like that, please give it a like so I know to keep doing hauls like this instead of the junk food ones that I've been doing. If you want to find me on the internet, it's at The Pretty Plus on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. As always, on ThePrettyPlus.com, and we will see you later. Bye, guys.
Say bye.